Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Mocktail Friday. And today we're going to do a really fun drink that's going to be fun for the kids as well as the adults. And this drink is called an Elf Tonic. The reason I named it an Elf Tonic is because those elves are going to need all the strength they can get to help Santa with those packages on Christmas. So let's get started to see what's in this Elf Tonic. The colors of the drink are green and red. So the food coloring is gonna make that color pop. And the flavor of the drink is gonna be red grenadine. And of course my favorite, the green sour apple flavoring. And we're gonna to wanna to make these drinks look fun and festive. And how more, much more festive can it be if you have these little cute little stirrers? I have a Christmas tree one, a Santa Claus one, and a snowman. And I can't remember where I bought these, but I'm sure you can find these in your specialty department stores. And I also have this cute little elf leg. It's actually an ornament, but I'm gonna use it to decorate my drink because I wanna make it as festive as possible. Like I said, these drinks are gonna be great for kids. And look how festive my cake stands are. And I got my cute little elf over there sitting, assisting me today. Isn't he cute? He's gonna make this elf tonic elf-tastic. And also I have some scoops. I have, because you're gonna be doing two separate colors, so you're gonna wanna use two separate scoops. And I use this scoop to get the ice out of the Ninja because when you first try to pull the, the blade out, it's kind of hard to get out. So I use a, a scoop for that. And of course, we're gonna use our trusty jigger. Um, and I also have my festive straw that I love. And we're gonna use our little measuring um, utensil and I also use a little plastic spoon for tasting to make sure the drink tastes really good um, you're gonna have to kind of measure this to taste um, I used about three three or four shots of each you may want less you may want more so you may want to kind of measure it as you go along. So, and I also have two bowls, one for the red portion of the drink and one for the green portion of the drink. Honestly, guys, this is more like a glorified snow cone. And actually, I'm gonna use the snow cone setting on my Ninja. So, while I'm getting the things assembled, you'll see here how I got this all together. So check it out. Okay, I've added the eyes to the Ninja and I'm selecting the snow cone feature and the eyes will turn out just like a snow cone. And once that's done, I'm gonna put ice in two separate bowls, one for the red portion of the drink and one for the green portion of the drink. Here I'm adding the flavoring. And like I said, I use three to four, maybe four to five scoops of flavoring for each bowl. And I also added about two teaspoons of food coloring in each and you stir it up just like this and if it's too loose you just add more ice to it so it can be a little bit more solid same thing with the red once you're done with this step you're going to want to go ahead and place it in the freezer until you're ready to assemble the drink okay guys now we're ready to assemble as you can see my glass is nice and frosted because i put it in the freezer and i got that nice frosted sensation and that's just to keep it as cold as possible and i'm going to start off with my green portion of the drink this doesn't that look cute it's just like a slushy and as i said in the video if it's too loose you can add some more ice to it so it'll be more solid and now I'm gonna add my red portion we're layering it just like the elf stocking red and green you can do different colors if you want to I just like 
the red and green effect. It's definitely Christmassy. And until I was ready to make the drink, I had it, this mixture sitting in the freezer. You can freeze these overnight if you want. It's totally up to you. Okay. My granddaughter saw me making this drink and she said, Grandma, can I have some of that drink? She's my little drinking buddy. Mocktail drinking buddy, that is. And guys, that's it. That's the Elf Tonic. And like I said, you can decorate it how you want. I'm going to decorate it with the snowman. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this little elf leg in it. Let's put them in the middle. Like that. And then I'm going to get my straw. like that hey you guys know I'm a little bit extra with everything so I'm gonna put some sprinkles on it just to make it that much more festive see how pretty that is and let's finish it off with a peppermint and that's it guys that's our elf tonic also guys I forgot to mention you can use these mug toppers to put on your drink if you like I got these from Wilm Sonoma. Um, they're really just cookies, but just to give you a glimpse of what they look like. Aren't they cute? They're little gingerbread cookies. And then they have, they have a little slit on each side if you want it to hang it off your glass like that. And I just broke it, but that's how you would hang it off your glass or you could stick them in there. It's really just a little cookie, but it's another festive way to make your drink look cute. I was rushing so fast to get my granddaughter this drink that I forgot to add that this drink tasted amazing. Kids will love it. It's kids approved as well as elf approved. Thank you for joining me guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and hit those notification bells so you'll know exactly when I post a video. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Toodles.